What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today I have a big update for you. The last video you guys saw was my framing of the van. That was actually filmed over a month ago. A lot of exciting updates to share with you and what I've been up to. So let's dive in. So I have found that each step of the build, each one has several steps and challenges to it. Because I don't want to just slap this van together, I want to do it right and learn. I just really challenge myself to uh, make a quality build uh, since I will be living out of this full time. And I do appreciate uh, all you guys for coming back and uh, it means a lot. So anyway. First off, I want to show you something that I installed right here that I'm super proud of. Check this out. This is cool. Got ourselves a nice swivel seat here. It was a really easy installation. I'm really pumped on it. Didn't really show it because I literally followed step by step another YouTube video, which I will link in the description box below. It's super helpful. I've already been like sitting in it a bunch. It opens this space up so much. I'm pumped about it. Anyway, swivel seat. So I spent about a month out in Colorado Springs where I met up with my good friends Mark and Giselle who have the same van and are great builders. They have so many van building skills and just all the tools and everything and they travel. They're just awesome. They were gracious enough to host me for several weeks, about a month, out at uh, his daughter's place where they, they were doing some projects of their own. I basically spent my time there with them, learning a lot of different carpentry skills to make my own custom cabinets. And we actually got a couple built, which I will show you. And Mark is the electrical wizard. We built this first cabinet, which is the battery box. This will be a bench and I'll have like my cushions and everything. This was, this was a lot of him. So these are my two lithium batteries. Everything is Bluetooth, so I can actually monitor it from my phone. I have it hooked up to my battery of my van so I can charge it when I'm driving. Currently, that's the only way I'm charging it since I don't currently have my solar panels yet. This was a huge accomplishment, and it's it's very much thanks to Mark for you know leading the reins on this and uh, just helping me out tremendously this is what i like to consider the brains of it i did all the wiring in here uh, as you'll notice all the wires have been run they're all over the place wires wires and more wires and they all come back into this one spot of the van this is why you label your wires <laughs> uh, next up is the, the first cabinet. So we got the bench and then the first cabinet is the fridge. And as you can see, we actually got it all installed and everything and it's, oh, I'm so pumped on this fridge. So the fridge came, uh, it's actually all wired up. So it's not plugged in right now, but it does work. I have had it running. So there's a little peek at my fridge, little freezer compartment in there. It's all mounted in. This was basically where I learned a lot of the you know edge banding the craig jig the pocket holes to you know fasten everything i learned everything from you know gluing uh, you know wood glue nail gun sanding priming cutting you know all the things you need to learn and just measuring everything also designing so a big thing that also happened uh was i actually did a lot of redesigning uh, with Giselle on the computer. I dove into the software called SketchUp, which you may have heard of. Uh, I'll show you more of that future video that's coming soon. Another thing that Mark helped me with was uh, installing and creating this window frame for me. That would have taken me like a very, very long time. So basically what'll happen is these will be upper cabinets up here. I'll kind of finish all of that off. Uh, but basically the any sort of wall will come out to here and you won't see any of that so it'll just be the wall will come it'll be a nice clean uh cut out of the window 
thanks to those frames. When I mention, you know, redesigning, uh, basically what that came down to was the toilet. I knew I wanted to put some sort of toilet in here. I didn't think I was gonna do anything fancy. I just thought I was gonna do some sort of like really portable toilet. My desk is gonna go here, but I thought I might have a closet here. That changed and they sold me on uh, this nice airhead composting toilet. I nixed the, the closet idea and instead added another cabinet, which will actually, I'm giving you a little peek of this right now. Uh, this will actually be a drawer for all my kitchen stuff, plates and everything. This will just be a little cubby for toilet paper, paper towels, and this is actually where the toilet's gonna go. Give you an idea. Uh, basically the toilet will be fastened to this. The toilet has a little handle on it and you can actually slide this out and uh, the toilet actually will slide out into the aisle. So nice little tucked away and then the door will cover that. Okay, what else? I know there's something else. We got another window. There was not this window here and Mark just threw that in with like in, in an hour. He just cut a window. I had it ordered. I knew potentially he could help me with it, but he just did it. You have a nice big view. And if you had those, this there, it would block your view. Uh, it just seemed unnecessary. I have the fan. So with, with these windows and this fan, which does work now, by the way, check this out. Woo! As soon as you open these, I can already feel like a breeze rolling in here right now. This just adds that nice, it pulls fresh air through here. So anyway, with those, I think that's plenty. I'm actually probably gonna add a second one of these back here after all, because my bed will be back here and that doesn't really get all the way back here. So, a second fan is actually on its way. Automatic, open and close. Super pumped about it that I can finally function. The fan and the fridge so far are the ones that work. I know I've been kind of absent, but been busy, been working, been learning, and now I'm really pumped to show you guys the knowledge that I've learned uh, and to apply it to the rest of the build. All this building and using these power tools, it is not in my wheelhouse. It's kind of cool that I'm kind of just adopting it right now uh, for when I need it. This time I'm just very, very, you know, serious about learning it and uh, doing it right and uh, having the skills needed to, to do my van the way I want it. So, uh, and I'm, I'm pulling resources from, you know, YouTube as well and different ideas and everything like that. So that is the update for now.
relocated back in uh, Omaha right now, staying at my sister's place here in Omaha in their driveway. Well, I'm not staying in the driveway, I'm staying in their house. So I have a little garage situation, which you'll see in the next video. Things are good, things are great. We're having a good time. We're enjoying the summer and uh, things are happening. Things just take so much longer than you think they're gonna take, uh, especially when you're being very thorough about it and you're not rushing through things. And I think things are, I think it's gonna look really nice. And I'm very excited for you guys to see the progress as it unfolds. So, okay, so that's gonna do it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.